Hello everyone, it's your girl to the local here again and I'm here to teach you how to make the front gathered turban. Okay, so this turban is very important when it comes to turban making because um, it's like the base of almost every design you come across. So you just have to know how to do it, whether you like it or not, as long as you're a turban maker. Alright, so I'm going to try and make this video as explanatory and brief as possible. But please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly click, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you. So um, for this project, I'm going to be using my scuba fabric and I already have it cut out. Okay, you can use any kind of stretchy fabric or even non-stretchy fabric. But this measurement I'll be giving works mainly for stretchy fabrics. All right. So um, you can make it of your of your scuba, your poly, your velvet, duchess, or your raw silk, whatever stretchy fabric you want to work with. Also know that my measurements are uh, um, can be altered. Okay. So for the edge circumference, I'll be using 14 inches because I want um my cap to drop at the back that's 14 inches on fold and then when i open up my cap i have 28 inches while the length of my cap is 22 inches please um kindly note that you can sorry 20 inches rather kindly note that you can alter the measurements you can decide to use 18 inches for the length all right now for my band i'll be cutting out the band which is going to be the exact head circumference I'm working with which is 23 inches. The reason why the body of my cap is bigger than the band is because I want the cap to drop at the back. Alright, I want my, my turban to have a dropping back. So that's why I increased the measurement to 26 inches, which I cut from the stretchy part of the fabric. You can reduce yours to 25, 24, or even make it the same measurement with the cap um, band if you want. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out the wrong side of the fabric. And this is the wrong side of uh, my fabric right there so i'm going to be making my pleats on the wrong side of the fabric note that you can also alter the measurements for your pleats if you want your pleats to be smaller you can use about 1.5 inches but if you want big pleats you can use about two inches but the way i always make mine um from the start of the cap i always had one inch or rather from the start of the pleats i always had one inch to the measurement of the uh, pleats I want to use. For instance, if my pleats are going to be two inches apart, I like to add one inch so I can use that to join the band. Alright, so that's going to be three inches when I want to start. If my pleats are going to be 1.5 inches apart, I add one inch and that makes it 2.5 inches. You cannot add an inch, but I like to work with one inch, okay? So just for um, explanations, I'm starting with three inches and I'm going to fold like that. I'm going to fold it like that, just like that. And then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and make a stitch on the edge right there, like about quarter of an inch, just a tiny bit of it, just to hold it in place. And I'm going to sew it straight down. So let me get my office pins and pin that um, part for you so that we can proceed to the next step. Okay guys, so I just pinned it down so, so it will be easy for you to understand what I mean by sewing it down. So when you sew it down, you're going to have it looking somewhat like that. Alright, I'm still on the wrong side of my fabric. Then from the first split I made, I'm going to measure whether it's 2 inches or 1.5 inches that I'm using for my pleats, um, for the intervals between my pleats. And I'm going to pick on that measurement and I'm going to fold it in again just like I folded the first one. Can you see that the way I folded it just like that? All right, so I'm going to fold it just so I'm just going to sew it like that straight down just like I did the first one. So I'm going to continue like that so till I get um, towards the end of my fabric. All right, so I'm done pleating. You see, I didn't pleat the entire thing. I left a little space at the bottom too for closing up my cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold into two to get the no, um, center of my um, my cap or the body of my cap. You can either notch with your scissors or use a pin or use a chalk to mark. The most important thing is to get the center because the back yeah because the back of the cap is dropping. That's why we need to make the body of the cap bigger than the band like i said earlier so i just want to reduce my measurement a bit because i discovered that the band was bigger than the edge circumference i was working with which is 23 inches so i'm going to fold my band to whichever way you feel is best for you just fold your band and get the center 
of your band because you're going to be placing the center of the band to the center of um, the body of the cap and that's how we're going to be attaching it but if you do not want the back of your cap to drop you can just um, cut out 23 inches for your band as well as 23 inches for the um, body of the cap so it will be the band will be equal to the body of the cap all right so and just join it from one hand to the other so can you see the way I'm, I'm i'm placing it so i'm going to be using my pin to hold it down at that point if you if you don't if you don't want to use your pin you can go ahead and just do that so i'm going to sew from where the band starts and stop at where the band ends so you can see i have some extra on the on both sides of the body of my cap okay so that's, that's what is going to make the back of the turban to drop all right now having attached my band the next thing is for me to close my cap up and then um we, we proceed to making the gathers all right so now i folded it into two just watch how i'm going to demonstrate that's how i'm going to be closing up my cap from the band like that all the way down okay i'm going to be sewing it like that and close up my cap all right so just um follow the way i demonstrated with my hands and just sew it straight down like that so now i've closed up my cap next is to make the gathers okay um so i'm going to be making the gathers in front first i have my needle and matching color of thread my thread is doubled and it's quite thick so i'm going to be starting from the first pleat i'm going to pass my needle in there okay inside make sure that you are doing this at the center of your cap that means that your your gathers must align with the joining at the back of your cap so you see just what the way i am going to be taking my needle and thread in and out of the turban so i'm taking my needle back in at almost the same spot where i um, brought it out and then i'm bringing it out at the next plate okay i hope i have not confused you there so i take my needle right back at the spot where i brought it out from and then i bring it out again at the next Split, all right so i'm just going to continue like that till i get to the end of the cap i take my needle back in at almost the exact same spot where i brought the needle out from and when i'm bringing it out it's going to be on the next split that's on the line where i sew the next split and be careful not to get your thread tangled um while you do this because you need your thread to be able to pull together at the end of the turban so i'm going to continue like that um with the same technique until i have gathered it until i get to the end of the cap please just watch um how i do this carefully so guys i'm actually going to gather it like that till i get to the end of the um, the cap like I said before please once again if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do so now I'm begging please 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 thank you so much so um just keep watching to see how I gather the cap up to the end of um the turban so I've done that now I've taken I've taken into the end and then I'm going to bring my needle back inside from the last um place that the thread came out from this is just a measure to secure my thread so now my customer is trying to wear the turban the thread doesn't cut off okay so i just pass the needle back in but please ensure that you pull your thread first before you pass the needle back like i'm doing i've pulled the thread and i've gathered the cap together which is firm it's very firm and i pass the thread back from the last blitz inside now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be taking my needle back to the front while stitching together my gathers this is just to um, secure my stitches okay so it's very easy you just take your thread back from the back right there through the fabric at the part where the thread came through before so just take it back just like you are back stitching okay and stitch it backwards up to the front of the cap so this will help keep your um stitch in place your gathers in place rather so that um when your customer tries to wear it and even if they, they have a bulky hair and they force it or pull it or whatever the front stitch doesn't come off please it's very important you do this okay so you can see i'm taking the needle back to the very front where i started from 
please kindly follow me on my social media and those are seen on the screen you can also join our facebook group you can mingle with other millionaires and you get notified when we have other free tutorials okay so i'm still going to be weaving this cap but for the sake of this class i'm not weaving it yet i'm just going to work with it like that So once I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking my thread back from the front to the back again. Okay, I'm just I just like to do this when I'm doing my front gathers, just to be um hundred percent certain that my client is not going to bring back the turban and say the thread has come off. That's what I'm just doing. So I bring the thread back to the back where I um ended the very first gathers. I bring the thread back there. And I'm going to knot the thread. And then I'm going to cut off the excess thread. So I'm just going to bring it back, and then I'm going to knot the thread and cut off the excess um, thread. Please ensure that you knot it properly. You cut the thread and then you tie. It's very important. Okay? You can knot as many times as possible. This is just to help you secure your gathers or your ruffles in place. Like I said, you may have other methods of doing yours, but this is how I um, love to do mine. Okay, so guys, now I'm done with gathering the front of my cap and I'm going to go on to gather the back, okay? Like me, I like the back of my cap to drop a lot. So, like I said before, if you don't want your cap to drop as much as mine, you can reduce the 26 measure, um, inches measurement to about 25 or even 24. It depends on you. So, I'm going to gather the back right from that top right there up to the point where I have that curve. Can you see that? I'll be making my gathers, my running stitches, that's my loose stitches. I believe you're familiar with this now. So I'm just going to take my thread in and out. Please ensure that your thread is doubled and it's very thick, okay? So I'm just going to gather till I get to the bottom of the um, cap where I showed you just now. So once I'm at the bottom right there, I'm going to just knot my thread and then I'm going to back stitch. I like to back stitch a lot. Anytime I do um, gathers, that's to ensure that my gathers stay in place. So I'll knot my thread first and I'll back stitch. But um, please remember I said it's important to weave the insides of your cap. So once you back, then you can go ahead to embellish your cap with whatever you want. I decided to use buttons and some stones to do mine okay so that's all about this class thank you for watching i look forward to taking your questions please leave a comment if this was helpful and see you next time bye